What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Two legends of boxing look to turn back the clock when they once again step in the square circle and fight at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. IA. Iron Mike Tyson, who was once known as the baddest man on the planet, takes on Roy Jones Jr., the pound-for-pound -pound king and the best fighter of his generation. Iron Mike Tyson came into the weigh-in yesterday at 220 pounds. He looks in tremendous shape. Five pounds lighter than he was in his last fight when he was knocked out by McBride in Washington, D.C. I believe his prime weight, if I'm not mistaken, was 215 pounds when he destroyed Michael Spinks Jr. in 91 seconds. So he's only five pounds over his prime weight of 215 pounds. Roy Jones, on the other hand, came in in not so great shape, in my opinion. 210 pounds. Look at Flabby around the midsection. He had that old man body. Didn't look in tremendous shape, but he has inactivity on his side as he's been in the ring recently, way more recently than my Iron Mike Tyson. He last fought in February of 2018. So he's been out the ring a little over two years, closer to three years than two years, around two years, nine months to be exact. Mike Tyson last seen in the ring June of 2005. My bad, June of 2005. So he's been out the ring for 15 plus years. So the inactivity is what Roy Jones Jr. is banking on. He's going to try to get past the first two rounds, ladies and gentlemen. The first two rounds is going to be a real, real pivotal point of this fight. Can Roy Jones Jr. get past the first two rounds? He said he's going to fight very cautious. He's going to try to take Mike Tyson later on into the fight, hopefully to wear down Mike Tyson and ultimately knock out Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is going to be looking to knock out Roy Jones Jr. early. He's going to come out explosive, bobbing and weaving, throwing strong hooks to the body, using his jab to close the distance, looking to get Roy Jones Jr. against the ropes where he can bang to the body. He's going to be looking to set up the uppercut. He has one of the most vicious uppercuts in the history of boxing, Mike Tyson. Who I can compare that to right now in the heavyweight division would be Anthony Joshua, who has a, a great uppercut. I think he learned that watching old Mike Tyson uh, videos. Mike Tyson has a great, great uppercut. The uppercut is his signature punch. He'll be looking to close the distance with the jab, get close, and set up that uppercut. If Roy Jones Jr. is lazy with any of his shots, if he's throwing that uh, right hand and he's throwing it a little bit too wide, Mike Tyson's going to be looking to duck that and come up under with the uppercut. Mike Tyson has a vicious left hook to the body and a vicious left hook to the head. He has a good right hand, too. But his signature punch, once again, is the uppercut. And he has a great jab. His jab didn't get the uh, just do it that he should have gotten in the heyday of uh, Mike Tyson's career. He has a real good jab. has a real good reach for somebody of his size. He is, I think he's 5'11". That's being kind. Most people list him as, uh, most people think he's probably closer to 5'10". But his uh, stated height is 5'11". He has about a one-inch height advantage over Roy Jones Jr. at 5'10". At they did the way in, and that sounded about right as uh, Mike Tyson looked like he was just slightly taller than Roy Jones Jr. But the height is not going to really tell the story. It's, it's the weight. Even though Mike Tyson is at 220 pounds and Roy Jones Jr. is at 210 pounds, Mike Tyson is a naturally bigger guy. And I think his size and power is going to be a huge advantage on his part. And he'll be looking to... Uh, for that to carry him over the top in this particular matchup. Spe specifically trying to get Roy Jones Jr. out of this fight early and put a statement and have everybody saying, well, this is the old Mike Tyson. Maybe we can put him in there with the Young Lions. Maybe we can put him in there with the Tyson Fury. Maybe we can put him in there with Anthony Joshua. Or maybe we can put him in there with Deontay Wilder. But I'm going to be like, Kurt! slow the brakes. He's not uh, ever going to fight those guys. He said he's strictly going to be fighting in the Legends League. He's not looking to fight any of those young guys. He said he would fight those guys maybe for charity, but he's not looking to fight those guys in a real professional fight. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what transpires. But more likely, if he beats uh, Roy Jones Jr., look for a matchup between him and Evander Holyfield next. That'll be a next fight in the Legends League or a fight with Shannon Briggs. But he first must get by a game, Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. is a very crafty fighter. 
He's not as fast as he used to be. He doesn't have the same reflexes as he used to be. So he'll be using it to, to uh, try to cover up, have the high guard up. He'll be laying on the ropes, and he'll be trying to uh, take from taking those uh, head shots. But he's kind of flabby to the body, so Mike Tyson's going to be looking to go to the body too. So can Roy Jones Jr. sustain those punches to the body? He's going to have to uh, take away those head shots because he's not going to be able to take those head shots with Mike Tyson. So he's going to have to take the lesser two evils, and he's just going to have to try to sustain those body shots and try to tie Mike Tyson up once he's on the ropes. Uh, what he's going to do is, even when Mike Tyson is ripping him to the body, he's going to have to try to tie him up in, in the midst of uh, tying Mike Tyson up. He's going to have to try to hit him with some sneaky body shots to kind of stop his momentum, try to uh, slow down and uh, slow him down for the latter part of this fight. As the fight goes on, the chances of Roy Jones Jr. winning improves greatly. You know, we can get to round four, round five, round six. Roy Jones Jr. figures he, he can uh, pretty much start taking over the fight, being, a, uh, being in the ring more recently than Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is known, even in his heyday, after about four or five rounds, to lose steam. Him being a much older fighter, I think Roy Jones figured him to maybe start losing some of his steam after round two. So the first two rounds is going to be very critical in this fight. If you if you see an early knockout, you know that's going to be Mike Tyson all day, every day, if it's an early knockout. If the fight goes the distance, then Roy Jones could possibly win a decision. But if the fight goes late and you see a late stoppage, you maybe get that edge to Roy Jones Jr. too. But I might not subscribe to what other people subscribe to. Simple the fact is, I think uh, Mike Tyson actually is the more fresher fighter. Him being out the ring 15 years, I think that's going to play to his favor. I think he's the more pressure fighter. And I think he'll be a little bit more fresher than people think. You got to understand that these are going to be two-minute rounds instead of three-minute rounds. So I think that's going to pay into his uh, favor. So I think he's going to be more fresher than people think going into round three and round four. And I predict a fourth-round knockout for Mike Tyson. I think uh, he's going to hit Roy Jones with some body shots. I think Roy Jones being flabby in the middle is going to bring the, uh, his guard down to try to protect the body. And I think that's going to leave him vulnerable to the... Uh, to the head shots. And once he do that, I can see Mike Tyson catching him with a vicious left hook to the head head, and dropping Roy Jones Jr. down for the count and getting the fourth round knockout and uh, getting everybody excited and everybody ecstatic and saying Mike Tyson should get in the ring with Tyson Fury next. <laughs> I'm telling you this was going to happen. I can see it coming from a mile away. He should get in the ring with Anthony Joshua. He should get in the ring with Deontay Wilder. I'm just telling you guys, uh, slow your brakes. He's already said he's just looking to fight in the Legends League. He's looking to create a Legends League. He's he looking to uh, get this thing established and get a lot of fighters who used to be great in yesteryear, used to be great in the past, to once again get in that square circle and mix it up with other great fighters of the past. And that's what he'd be looking to do. So look for Mike Tyson if he's victorious to uh, possibly fight Evander Holyfield or Shannon Briggs next. Well, we'll have to see what happens and we'll see what transpires after this fight. But Roy Jones' key to victory is obviously is to fight cautious and then as and tie Roy, uh, Mike Tyson up, you know, and try to smother his punches and just try to survive the first two rounds. And then hopefully Mike Tyson lose some of his steam and then he can start uh, setting up his shots you know, fighting from a distance, coming over the top with the right hand, coming up, coming uh, with the left hook to the body, jabbing to the body, uh, coming with the straight right hands, and basically doing what Roy Jones, doing the things that Roy Jones did when he was in his heyday. Fight at his tempo, fight at his style. Make Mike Tyson hesitant. Make make Tyson make Mike Tyson have to think out there. Make Mike Tyson have to second guess himself. And what he doing that Roy Jones could be pot shotting from the outside. Which we, which he was great at in his heyday. We'll see what happens. We'll see what transpires. But I think they, uh, him and his team, is making a mistake because I think they're saying, okay, we're gonna fight cautious for the first two rounds, and we're gonna wait till Mike Tyson loses steam, and then we're gonna take over. I think that's fool's gold. I think Mike Tyson actually is a fresher fighter, and I think he'll be strong in round three, round four, and I think that'll be the knockout. I think uh, those body shots is gonna weigh on uh, Roy. Roy's gonna drop his guard, and he's gonna get caught with a left hook up top. And that's going to be good night, Irene. And I think Mike Tyson gets a fourth round knockout over Roy Jones Jr. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the frenzy, in the Mike Tyson frenzy, in the Mike Tyson hysteria will go to a whole nother level. And people will be saying Mike Tyson deserved to fight the cream of the crop of the heavyweight division. And there'll be uh, 
saying you'll be seeing all these broadcasters, all these guys that really don't even follow boxing closely. They'll be saying, man, we want to see Mike Tyson and Tyson Fury. We want to see Mike Tyson and Anthony Joshua. We want to see Mike Tyson and Deontay Wilder. They'll be calling Mike Tyson out to fight all those top-level guys if he looks spectacular tonight against Roy Jones Jr. Now, if Roy Jones Jr. win, you know, maybe you can set up a fight with him in the Holyfield. Maybe you can set a fight up with him in Holyfield. Or maybe you can set up a fight between uh, Roy Jones and Antonio Tarver. Antonio Tarver has been out here recently saying that he he wants to, uh, the win of that fight. So that's that's a couple of options for both fighters if they prevail uh, tonight. And we'll just have to see what happens. We'll have to see what transpires once the victorious one is uh, is at the press conference, at the post-fight press conference, and then we can ask him his thoughts on his next opponent. We'll see what happens. But what I want you guys to do that's watching this video to give me your prediction. Who you think going to win this fight? If you think it's going to be a decision, Say the decision. If you think it's going to be a knockout, tell me what round you think it's going to be a knockout. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And subscribe to JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holla.